Hi guys, this is Shivariti. In this session, I am going to explain interview question and answers for strings in Java. So first thing is what is string? String is a sequence of characters. In the case of in the case of Java, string is an object. That means whatever the objects you are going to create for the string class, those actually represents the string. In Java, strings are immutable. That means once you create an object for the string, it cannot change. Okay. So now next question is how many ways you can create a string in Java? In Java, you can create string in two ways. One is using the string literal, another one is using the string object. For example, I am using the Eclipse to show a few demos. So if you see string str1 equal to uh, str1 equal to this is string demo so this is the one way you can create string this representation is called as an string literal okay and ne next one is string str2 equal to new string of this is string demo so this is the another way you can create a string. So basically, in so there are two ways you can create a strings. One is using the string literal, another one is using the string object. Okay. And now let us see what is string pole. So whenever you create a string using a string literal this is going to be stored in a special memory area called as in string pool so once you place this in the string pool next time whenever you are going to create a string with the same value instead of creating a new object the second object is actually referring to the string pool and it won't create a new string in the memory Okay. In this case, what happens, str1 and str2 actually pointing to the same address of the string pool. So why Java using the string pool concept is it is going to, it is going to uh, utilize the memory efficiently is the one thing. And second one is string is immutable because of to achieve this functionality, strings are immutable so that no other that means the state of an ob, uh, the state of a string object you cannot change once it created okay and next one is why strings are immutable the same concept as strings are using the uh, string pool concept so in order to efficiently utilize the memory strings are using the string pool concept as multiple string objects are referring to the same address Hence, strings become immutable so that even though somebody changed the state of in one object, it will not reflect for the other objects. Okay. Now, let us see what is the difference between equal to, that means double equal or the equals and compare to methods in Java. The first thing is double equal is going to uh, compare the references of the object. For example, in this case, str1 and str2, it is going to compare the references whether these are pointing to the same memory or not. Reference is nothing but the address. Okay. Okay. In this case, str1 actually str2 comparing the references, nothing but the addresses. Okay. And in the case of equals method, it is going to compare the content of the strings. That means syntax is if str1 dot equals str2. So in this case, what is going to be happening is it will take the content of the str1 and it is going to compare the content of the str2. If both are equal, that means it is going to return a boolean. Otherwise, it will be false. Okay. And next one is the compare to method. So compare to method is going is it is going to uh, compare the 
uh, lexical uh, logical uh, expression like whether what is the whether the calculation of this value it is going to be an integer and either uh, str2 also it is going to compare to the integer and now these two actually comparing whether which one is greater or the which one is lesser that means str1 is greater than str2 or str1 equal to equal to str2 or str1 less than str2 so it is going to calculate the expression and then it is going to say whether it is a which string is um, less than or which string is greater than or both are equal or not so that is how it is going to compare so i am giving this this examples at the high level so if you want to go in detail please go through my previous uh, string concepts uh, uh, session 1 session 2 so that it is going to more it will give you the more clarity clarity on these things okay so now this is how you are going to compare once again str1 once again it is going to be integer actually it is going to return integer in i for example okay now you need to compare whether i is equal to 0 means both strings are equal now i is greater than means str1 string is greater than str2 and if i is less than that means str1 is less than str2 that is what this meaning is okay so that's all about these three methods now let us see what is string buffer and string builder so as strings are immutable so you cannot change the state of an object once you create but java provide another flexibility you can change the state of an object and then use the string buffer so using the string buffer you can you can modify the or you can change the state of an op, uh, string object so whenever you are working with the multi threaded environment then you can use for the string buffer by default string buffer is a thread safe that means it has uh, in built implemented the synchronization concept whereas in the case of string builder you can also change the state of an object using the string builder but only one thing is string builder is going to be useful if it is a single threaded single threaded environment in the if you are working with the multi threaded environment go for the string buffer to change and state of an object for the string if you are working with the single threaded environment single threaded environment and if you want to change the state of an object then you can go for the string builder so that is uh, string buffer and string builder next how to reverse a string using the string calls but by default string class does not provide you to reverse an uh, uh, reverse of uh, method so in order to reverse you need to take the help from the string buffer class so string buffer has already this feature to reverse a string so string buffer is b equal to new string buffer of i am going to pass for example i want to show you demo so i am passing the str1 now i want to reverse this string so sb dot reverse okay now directly i am going to print this i need to convert to the string representation and i am going to print this value print this string reverse string so spr dot if you see right okay that's all now i run this program to run right click run as java application so str1 is this is a string demo if you see here automatically it got reversed so this is a, one of the cool feature provided in the string uh, buffer class to reverse a given string okay next one is what is the use of intern method of the string class so if you see intern whenever you create an string there are two ways you can create right one is using the string literal and one is using the string uh, string object so what intern method is going to do is first whenever you create an object and apply to uh, dot intern method for example here what it is going to do is first it will check whether this string is available in the string pool 
if it is available in the string pool instead of creating a new object it is going to pointing to this object reference that means intern method actually pointing to the object of string pool if it is available if it is not available then this string is going to be placed in the string pool and next time onwards whenever you apply the intern method it will take the reference from the string pool so if you want to place a string or whenever you creating with a some uh, new object and if you want to use this string as a uh, as like a string literal then you use the intern so that it will be placed in the uh, string pool next time onwards whenever you create in a uh, this with the same value instead of creating a new string it will be pointing to the string pool okay so that is and next what is the use of to string method so to string is method is very important um, method uh, in the case of uh, java what it will do is uh, i am going to explain this one is an example so that it is will have a more clarity so class i am creating a just employee class it is just a demo so that is the reason i within the same class i am writing the two uh, classes but in real so you have to create another class and then use the reference here for example um, employee class i am creating here i have uh, two methods uh, sorry two properties private int emp id and private string emp name okay now i am going to create a setter getter or uh, i can create a constructor simply to show so i am creating a constructor okay now what i am going to do is so i am going to remove all these things in the code or commenting otherwise okay i will comment it now i am creating a employee object employee emp equal to new employee of 101 let us consider this one as a shiva okay now what i am doing is i am printing the system dot out dot println i am printing the employee object now i am running this program if i run this program what happens it is giving a string representation okay so what happens first of all whenever if you don't um, specify any or if you don't override any two string method by default object class has the two string method so what the object uh, what the object um, class is going to do it is going to be taking the fully qualified name of the uh, class and then the at the rate symbol with next one is the hexadecimal representation of the hash code for this object it is going to be print but if you want to print your own um, uh, your own uh, format of the object then what you need to do is you need to override this two string method for example public public uh, it is going to return the string method so to string and here what i am returning is return this dot emp id and i am con sorry i am concatenating with this dot this dot emp name okay now see what happens when i run this program now you can see 101 comma shiva so this is what the values we have passed okay so the two string method is going to be useful when you want to represent your your user defined objects in your own way otherwise if you don't override the two string method the default implementation of the object class it is going to be written with the qualified fully qualified name of the class 
and uh, it is concurrently written with the at the rate of hexadecimal of the hash code so hope these questions will be really helpful to um, face the java interviews on the string concept if you have any questions please comment in my youtube video thanks for watching if you really like my videos please subscribe or hit like button